Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 21st of July 1970, construction was completed on the Aswan High Dam in Egypt. Taking just over 10 years to build, the High Dam cost nearly $1 billion. However, it's estimated that this cost was recovered in less than five years thanks to income from increased agricultural production and hydroelectric generation, as well as from savings due to flood protection and improved navigation. A dam had already been built across the Nile near the southern Egyptian city of Aswan in 1902. It was designed to store the Nile's annual flood water and to release it during the dry season in order to irrigate the farms and settlements further downstream. However, despite being heightened twice by the 1930s, it still did not provide enough water for future projected development. Consequently, designs for a new dam were sought. Following the Egyptian Revolution of 1952 that was led by the Free Officers Movement, President Gamal Abdel Nasser began searching for funding for the new dam. The US, Britain and the USSR all initially offered financial support, but after the USSR promised funding at just 2% interest, the other powers pulled out. Income from the Suez Canal following Nasser's nationalisation of the waterway provided further funding for its construction. The completed dam is almost four kilometres long and 111 metres tall. The 550 kilometre long reservoir created when it was flooded is known as Lake Nasa and holds 132 cubic kilometres of water. The creation of the reservoir forced the relocation of over a hundred thousand people and a number of archaeological sites that would otherwise have been lost beneath the water. <laughs>